Hello, this is Haku Devine, and today we are going to be reading some r slash rules horror. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if there are any interruptions or odd noises, those can probably be chalked up to my cat, who is right here next to me. Anyway, let's get right into this. Sonic 06. Hey Tom, it's me, Kyle. Sorry I couldn't respond to your messages for a while. It's been so busy at college and everything. But I got you something. That's right, at Sonic 06. I know how much you've been wanting to play this game. So I decided to get a copy for you. I tried it out myself and it looks like it's an unreleased version of it or something. But anyways, it came with a few rules when playing it, so here you go. Rule 1. The tile screen may look different, but don't worry. Now look instead at, at the regular game opening with the Kingdom Valley background and its world playing. It'll be a soft jingle of the Sonic like, 1 thing with Crisis City instead. Now, like I said before, it's apparently an unreleased version of it. So don't worry, relax, and start by playing. It's a lie. Don't play it. Destroy it. Don't play it. Rule 2. When you see the opening cutscene, you might notice your friend Sonic. Sonic looks a little different. He might look a little grayish, and his gloves and shoes might not be visible. I don't really know what was going on. Probably just a redesign for it for the anniversary. Don't worry. Just play. Rule 3. After the cutscene, you'll always load in as Tails. If you don't shut the game off and restart it, it... If you load in as Knuckles, Silver, or anyone else, restart the game. Therefore, our later games, friend. Afterwards, you go load into a pile of, a, you know, a ruins from Eggman's invasion. You should find Sonic before anything else. He's lying. He's lying. Run away. Hide. Shut the game off. Do anything, in Thomas, but don't find Sonic. After you find Sonic, you'll ask you to play a game with him. Kindly accept it, don't worry. We'll get Paul Eggman afterwards. Paul Eggman? You'll play hide and seek with Sonic. It's also worth noting that once he finds you, the game might crash. Like I said, it's an unreleased version. So it's probably, bug so it's probably buggier than the actual game. Rule 5. Once hide and seek is over, you'll play as Sonic. Take a bit. Go through his campaign and then go to Shadow. Once you make it to Crisis City, Sonic will have a friendly race with Shadow to finish. Just relax and enjoy the fun. Nothing to worry about, Tom. Afterwards, you'll finish Shadow's campaign and move on to Silver. Don't worry about Shadow looking a little beat up. He's just tired. Rule 6. Now here's your favorite a character, Silver. His campaign is mostly unchanged. When you get to the Iblis is Phase 2 boss fight, Sonic will be there instead. He's still a bit skeptical of you, so you gotta fight him. You'll switch between Silver and Blaze. Afterwards, the final campaign will be unlocked. Rule 7. Rule 7. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do it, Thomas. Don't have like me. Don't. Same final boss fight. The beats the lawyers and watch your credits roll. Oh. But afterwards. Oh. Sonic will want to play one last game. Just close your eyes and relax as you listen to the flames. Would you like to play, Thomas?
All right, next story. Mall of, of Babel. Good evening, dear shopper. Our mall is now closing. Please head to the main exit now. We'll be delighted to see you soon. You're on the 12th floor, the second highest level. As you start heading down to the exit, you notice a piece of paper lying around. It looks like a set of rules. If you come to the paper, you read it. Dear valid huge shopper, if you are reading this, the mall is now closing. It is dangerous to stay inside the mall for too long. Please follow the rules below to ensure your continued existence and patronage. 1. Please use the escalator to descend to the lower floor. It is the safest way to descend during this time. 2. Do not break the windows to get out of the mall. We will be able to repair to your bereaved family or relatives. 3. Elevators should be avoided during this time. You don't want to realize how elevators get powered up. Conventional knowledge aside. 4. Going down the stairs is ill-advised. You only spend time and energy getting no further from where you started. 5. The descending speed of the escalators will vary at random intervals. It will not accelerate or accelerate while a person is on it. It can go as fast as a category for hurricane or as slow as an elderly grandma. 6. You cannot stay for more than 9 hours. At its escalator's slowest, it takes around 20 minutes to descend one level. At its fastest, 6 seconds. 7. On the second and sixth floor hour after closing time, the sixth floor becomes slippery enough to make a mountain goat slip. 8. On the ninth hour, our unpaid and entered employees will come out to repair the mall for its opening. They're very hungry and can or will eat anything. So it's best to avoid them. They are also excellent at cleaning up after the meal. We apologize to any inconvenience this may cause to your bereaved family. 9. Don't take the escalators to go upward. Taking a step down will cause you to fall down as you, if you clip through the escalator. Taking a step will instantly bring you up to the upper level. We hope you enjoyed shopping with us, and we hope to see you again. After you finish reading the rules, you notice that you're headed towards the escalator, and you're about to finish taking your next step. Hmm. <sighs> rules for elevator security officers. Hello, before starting your position, please read the set of rules. Remember, you can still back out, but if you decide to continue, please follow the set of rules. We can guarantee your safety as long as you follow these rules. We will also pay you $6 an hour. That should be email and wage. Should be. It isn't, because it's not livable, but uh, it should be. Email is set, redacted, and you will be starting on Monday. Anyway, here are the rules. 1. You'll notice your office has a flashlight, a camera system, and a baseball bat. If anything is missing, make your way to the receptionist to grab anything that's missing in front of your office. There will be four elevators. Each elevator has floor indicator, which you'll have to keep track of. 2. Your work hours are from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Your office is the safest place during these hours, so try to stay in your office if, if possible. 3. This building has floors numbered 1 to 55, except 13, and numbers that contain 4. I can see why. If an elevator stops on a floor that doesn't exist, take the elevator and press the floor number closest to it. Like if you're on 12, 13, go to 12, or 15 in, in, in 34, or 33, or 35. Once you reach a or is once you reach a floor, a seven foot tall man will enter. Be sure to make as little movement and noise as possible. He will get off at the next fake floor. Do not exit the elevator with him. If he detects you got a ride making noises or exiting the elevator, he will take you to his pocket dimension, never to be seen again.
Four, you can't ignore the man in rule three. If you are too late, he'll simply come to your floor and take you to his pocket dimension. Five, sometimes the power may go out. You'll have to recharge the power by going to maintenance room. Be sure to bring your flashlight. 5a. If you hear loud breathing, turn off your flashlight and keep walking. 5b. If you hear loud footsteps, keep your flashlight on, turn back, and shine the flashlight at the creature's eyes. You may stop as soon as you hear a loud shriek. 5c. If you fail to follow rules 5a or 5b, be prepared to lose a limb. 6. If the lights in your office hallway start to turn off one by one, he heading to your office, hide. You may hide in the closet or under the table. Just stay out of sight until the lights turn back on. If you are spotted, run to an elevator and close the door. Don't get caught, or you will be dragged to the basement to be tortured. Never seen the light of day again. 7. You have to check the cameras frequently. If a human is being attacked by something invisible in an elevator, press the button near your cameras. This will make the elevator go to your floor faster. Take your baseball bat and once the door opens, enter the elevator and fight the invisible creature. If it is not too strong, um, so it is not too strong, so you and the person will always win the fight. After winning the fight, close the elevator. Send the person to a different elevator. If you don't follow this rule, the person will die and you will become the next target. 8. If you see an inhuman entity going to you, or your floor through the security cameras, hide and be dead silent. They should leave in 30 seconds. Note that the elevator plays a sound before opening the doors. This can be another cue to help you survive. 9. A person will be standing on camera 5 the entire night. Watch him for as long as possible. If you ignore him, you will eventually come closer to the camera until he comes out of the camera, strangling you to death. If he comes out, run as fast as possible to the maintenance room. Hold it shut until he leaves. 10. If you see yourself on the camera, locate the vault under your, or the, your desk, and for the code 4561, and grab the gun. Off yourself. Don't worry, you'll wake up in your home at 5 a.m. This is a sign of a universe anomaly. Failing to correct it will have you trapped in a parallel universe where there is nothing but nothingness. You will still get paid for the night. Eleven. Before leaving for the night, close and lock the office door. You don't want your equipment to be sabotaged when you need it. That's it. We hope to hear from you soon. Housekeeping. Good day. I hope this letter finds you well. Before you start with your work, I would like to voice my sincerest apologies that I could not meet with you in person. I have had to travel quickly for an emergency meeting at work, but I trust that you will take care of this place while I am away. Now that you are inside, you may place the key I gave you on the counter. From here, I will now relay the ground rules for you. As you may know, you are to keep the place as tidy and clear of intruders until I return. Nothing is to be broken or missing, or will be reduced from your final payment. I collect all sorts of trinkets and objects of high value, and of course, these have to be kept in the best condition. I would also like to give you my thanks for taking on my job offer. You would not believe how hard it is to find good work these days. If you've done well, I shall see to it that you are tipped handsomely for your efforts. Now then, the rules. 1. You are to keep all windows and doors locked once the evening arrives. Ten and p.m. at the latest. I cannot allow all my collection to be taken from me. 2. The music box is the most expensive part of my collection, and as such, you are to take special care of it. However, if it starts to play, 
I recommend finding the nearest room to lock yourself in. 3. Food and beverages are in the kitchen. You may cook a meal if you wish, as long as you are not to touch any liquor or in the cabinets. I've locked it, and only I have the key, so don't even try. 4. You cannot invite ghosts, guests over. Period. 5. On the off chance you hear a familiar voice calling for you to open the door or window, ignore them. I've had little to no luck getting rid of those vermin, as their bites are often, are more often than not, fatal. 6. My home may have many rooms, but none have a gray door. If you are to see one of these doors, then do not linger for long, unless you prefer to have your memories altered. <clears throat> Seven, the mirrors in my home have a small tendency to show you your deepest fear, no matter how repressed it may be. I advise you to not to look at your reflection too often. Eight, no one else is living in my home. If you are to meet with another person or living being while inside my home, then enter them to call me. This should cause them to immediately leave the premises. Nine. You may touch certain objects in my collection, but do be careful when handling them. 10. My paintings may fall from their spots every so often. Do put them back on, even if their contents have changed significantly. You may speak with them if you're looking for company. 11. Keep a close eye on any of your belongings. Duplicates of the same object may appear, and these are... Critters that are, are rather troublesome to deal with, even if all you need to do to get rid of them is spray them with water. Their bites are rather strong, too. <clears throat> 12. I will return in precisely three weeks. If I happen to return earlier without informing you in advance, then do not answer the door. No matter how strong and loud the knocks get. 13. Keep the home tidy and clean. This should be all. However, I may update this list through your cellular device by setting you any additional rules for you to follow in the, l in the later weeks. Again, I would like to give my warmest thanks <sighs> for taking up my offer. You may use the guys from Master Bedroom um, to your liking if you wish. Your final payment will be deposited directly into your bank account once I return. Until then, I will be seeing you in three weeks. Signed, Madame Lestra. I cannot read that last name. I tried. So this is updated rules for living in your new home. You cannot run. Update rules. Old rule. Hello, if you are reading this email, that means you are now the official owners of this house. However, in order to ensure a healthy lifestyle, let's go over some rules. 1. Get some sleep. All the caffeine in and all nighters are really not good for you. Not getting enough sleep has been linked to anxiety and the feeling that someone is watching you. 2. Do not touch any of the pre-placed furniture. They are merely there for staging and I will, will shortly return to remove them from your property. Be especially careful of the couch. And it is very old and sometimes even creaks on its own as if it is snoring. Even if your gut tells you something is wrong with it, use your brain to think and do not touch the couch. 3. Keep your pantry stocked. There are a number of good reasons for doing so, such as allowing for fewer grocery runs and quick meal preparations when you are hungry. 4. Play with your dog. Like any dog, yours will always bark at night, as if there was an intruder in your house. Don't need to fret as your dog simply wants your love and, and attention. 5. Don't be too loud in the morning. Some people, 
including myself, enjoy a more nocturnal lifestyle. I am sure that your neighbors have sense of hearing and will be disturbed by loud noise in the morning. Updated rules. I sincerely apologize for the shock and fear caused by the intruder in the couch. Had I known about the issue, I would have sent someone to pick up the couch as soon as possible. However, I have to be a professional in this field. Here is the least of rules you for you to follow until I come to deal with it. For you, please jump to rule 3. One, don't let him escape. Kicking him out so aggressively and violently as you did made him mad. Don't let him escape, as I know where you live and will surely come back to re for revenge. However, this is easier said than done, as his dirty, greasy body will make him hard to catch. You will be very unlikely that you will be able to catch him, so just move on to the next rule. Two. Don't forget what he looks like. Be sure to remember his long and messy hair and beard, the shave or net and it was, and how it hid all my facial features. 3. Stay in a room with only one access point. Preferably the one closet into the front door. If you try and, and find if you try to find and block off all the entry points to your house, there's no guarantee that you're quick enough. I could already be hiding inside your house. He was able to fit in a couch after all. Who knows where else he could hide. <sighs> 4. Don't trust the police. The police in this neighborhood are untrustworthy. They probably committed more crimes than the criminals they lock up. They are probably involved in this somehow. Instead, wait for my help. 5. Remember our secret knot. Ugh. Two light, one heavy, one light, one heavy. All in quick succession. If you look through your door peak hole, you should see a guy with no hair on his head and, and face except for his brunette eyebrows and eyelashes. That is me. And you, after you hear our secret knock, open the door and let me in. If only one or neither apply, do not open the door. 6. Remain in the room whom you chose in Rule 3. I will thoroughly search and find every spot someone could hide until I find him. I will let you know that I have captured the intruder from a distant room and take him out through the back door, since I don't want to disturb, na disturb the neighbors, as mentioned early. I will leave almost impossibly quiet. Be sure to wait a few minutes after, just in case. Just, there's no way, no need to see me out. I'm just doing my job. If you still feel anxious that somebody may be living in your house, don't worry. That feeling will end soon. <sighs> Interview. You wake up in the same room you did about a week ago. You feel a type of force field around your joints. You know there's a, a note stapled to the ceiling above you. Be calm, be cool, be calm, be cool. All right, they don't see you as a threat now. Just act casual and don't give out any threats or stuff. One, don't annoy your pest or generally bother the interrogator. Two, don't try to speak with the staff outside of questions. 3. If any rules are broken, refer to 7. 4. The men in black uniforms have been replaced by those for black people as they, they see you as a threat now. Don't worry, as they cannot not look up and see you and just see you as a red dot because of their enhancements. 5. Don't try to move and, or stand up, as then you will be subject to heavy pain on joint that was moved, and you will be placed back into the seat. 6. Be calm. Do not hyperventilate. 7. If you refer to this rule, 
Just accept your fate. You finish reading. You hear a door click open. You hear a voice. Why did you try to escape? I don't know. Do you acknowledge that the corporation has all rights to redact it at any moment? Yes. You pass out. Feeling a sharp pain in every joint. You hear a voice while your vision fades. 27, get to its cell. Rules for time traveling. Time traveling is a very delicate matter. One screw up could mean the end of our continuum. This is why we adhere to a specific set of rules that ensure that time traveling stays safe. Rule 1. This rule is specific so you and, to you and more of a reminder that on your birthday you must go back in time to 2090 to have intercourse with the woman with blonde hair walking into her hotel room. I don't care how you make it happen, just make sure it does. Rule 2. I think this is self-explanatory, but do not kill your grandfather. The universe will end if you do. Rule 3. We make sure that historical uh, events such as the fall of the Soviet Union and the start of the Great Depression happen exactly as it does in our textbooks. You will be stationed at one of these important historical events to make sure everything goes normally. Think of it as like a groundhog egg. Unless you see something that was not there before, like an extra animal or a building that is completely different than the one you used to than the one in our logs, it's probably just a tiny time glitch. These don't really need to worry about. If it is a person, however, restrain them immediately. Go back in time as many times as you need to do so. Otherwise, do not interfere. Do not so much as crush a freaking bug. You will be given an individual ability cloak and a food and water module, so there is no need to eat, eat or drink. I think I fell asleep a little bit. <sighs> Rule 4. There is only one event that we you have made sure delivered does not happen the way it was meant to. And that is uh, John F. Kennedy's continued reign as president. The higher-ups didn't give me any other details other than and that you need to make sure or that he says it's the words, no, they sure can, for you assassinate him. Rule 5. Do not travel up, up beyond the year 99. Just don't. Anyways, that's it. Stay safe out there, new guy. And that was our slash rules horror. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!